Now, what is this? This, this is the Marpac filter, fuel filter for your boat, for your outboard. And I haven't changed mine in about a year. And I'm doing it now. These are, I don't know, 10. They started out about eight bucks on eBay. Now, I think they're about 12. Everything goes up. The nice thing about this is you got a 100% stays clear bowl with a drain. I didn't even bother using the drain. I'm just taking this filter out and going to replace it. Uh, most of the time you'd get in here. I can't really get a good enough grip here to get this part off and the entire system will come off. Uh, off the head unit here. I can't really... Ah, I'm trying. I'm going to have to probably loosen that up. But it doesn't really have to come off because I'm dumping the fuel here in a pan and I have an entire video about this system and comparing it to a Raycor, which Raycor filters, of course, very superior. I mean, Parker filtration, I mean, yeah, it's a good filter along with many other filters. And uh, the problem is, is the cost and the bowl. Now, in all reality, the way it works on a ray core, supposedly, is if you have your ray core in a confined space, you're supposed to have the steel bowl on the bottom of your filter element as it goes out of your tank, then goes to your outboard motors. Well, you never know if you're getting buildup. This, of any, you know, you don't know if you're getting any buildup of water in your fuel. Now, this has a floating ring, and that floating ring goes down to the bottom of this bowl. And if you ever see this suspended off the bottom, that's telling you, you got, you got moisture in your bowl here. So that's kind of nice. And the bowl is pretty much kind of, they say it's kind of guaranteed to stay clear. <coughs> well, I can see over the years that I've had this, this bowl is a little not as clear as it was when it was new. I've got the the uh, cast stainless head unit. All right. I got my kicker running over here. I've got my main two, uh, 250 Suzuki running over here. And then this is the fuel in line. And this has really worked out for me. Uh, I look in here all the time. And what I like about it is that Compared to like a Raycor, and I'm not poo-pooing Raycor or Parker Filtration by any means, or Wix or, or any of the other ones, okay, that might be used on a boat. I'm not poo-pooing anybody. But I can buy this filter element, which is like a 10 micron, and if you look at it, it is a very, very tight filter. Let me put the light even over here. Okay, that's a very tight filter. I have cut open ray cores and they look like this. They look just like this thing. There's not a lot of difference that I can see. So I'm going to put a new one of these on. I'm going to fill up the bulb, bowl, and I'm going to screw it back on. And that's how easy it is to change it. And uh, the cost 
It's like maybe 12 bucks. You can get these on Amazon. I know you can get them on eBay. Um, and this one's been in here about a year, so it's time to get rid of it. All right, here is my brand new Marpac. This is the Marpac brand. Uh, it's got threads on this end, threads up in here. And I'm just gonna spin this on. Okay, just put it hand, hand tight. Okay, finger tight. That's it. I'm gonna fill up the bowl and I'm gonna put that on next. This is in the back of my boat, the hatch where all the goings on is. All right, I'm gonna stick this. down in there just so I hopefully don't get any drippage and or spillage all right well I filled up the bowl and I'm just gonna put it on over the filter filled fill the bowl up and I'm gonna spin her on there I remember actually doing this out on the water one time. Because I thought my filter was clogged for some reason, and of course it wasn't. Okay. And this and tight and that's pretty much it I'm gonna pump my bowl that's it see right down here there's the little red ring and that will float up. That will float up off the bottom if you're starting to accumulate water, which I would never ever let it get that far. So I'm going to hit my key and pressurize the system here and check for leaks. All right, just to give you kind of an overview of where my whole system is here just so you can get an idea is there's the hatch in the back of my boat and there it is okay the Marpac system in the video description below I will put my original video of when I installed this system and took out the very expensive Ray cores because I know the Ray cores have gotten up to $40 for a canister you know and then if you do have the the supposed clear bowl in the bottom it, over time they get all foggy and you can't see so how are you going to know that there's any moisture coming out of your fuel tank or anything which there we go again let me show you one other item here the reason I don't have any moisture ever in my fuel system is let me get down out of the boat here as I put my fuel in my boat jerry cans and I use might as well go the whole nine yards here and I use 
a shaker tube. I got a video about this. Anymore, I'm just reiterating things that I've already done. I don't take my boat to the gas station. Screw that. There's so many inconsiderate people. So, I use the Mr. Funnel. I put it in my gas filler. I put my jerry cans up on my cutting board and I use the shaker tube and run the shaker tube into the Mr. Funnel. The Mr. Funnel has that green screen as you can see in it and well let me just pull it apart. That's what your fuel has to go through and that is like uh, don't quote me but that's like five micron and then when you put it down in here you see there's a lip here I'm trying to get you better light there's a lip and then this goes down in there and creates kind of a sump and what it does is it filters all the water and all the debris out of your fuel and if you don't think <laughs> if you don't think that you're getting debris from the gas pumps you are dead wrong I've seen everything from brass shavings filing like little filings now it tipped over a couple weeks ago when I was in a real hurry but this is where I put uh, all the fuel that gets stuck in the little sump part of this. Okay, and you're going to have a little bit of wasted fuel. Yes, you're going to have a little bit. And this size is, I don't know, it works for me. There's a little tiny one and then there's a, they got really big ones with double filters in it and it's as big as a five gallon bucket okay and then what I do is I save the little bit of gas that's left in the sump here and it tipped over a few weeks ago and there's just a little bit but there's a lot of debris and I collect the debris just to see how much debris is coming out of my jerry cans which are clean they've never had anything in them except fuel and uh, so that's the reason why my filter that's why this filter probably is still perfectly good but I noticed I don't know if you're gonna be able to see see how it's getting some dark streaks in it and I figured, well, it's time. See, down in there, it's time. So, a year, every year, change this out. Cost me $14, $12, whatever. You can find them on eBay. It's the Marpac Clearview Replacement Filters. I highly recommend it over, I mean, I'm into cost savings. I am cheap, okay? And... I'm into saving some money and those ray cores those ray cores were costing a lot anywhere like $38 to 40 bucks I was getting them I don't know maybe the cheapest like close out stuff I found on eBay or something if you bought six I was getting them at like $25 $22 now that's a chunk of change to put out so my gas is going through multiple 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 filters okay when I put my gas in the tank it goes through a five micron I believe it's five micron then the gas goes through the clear view cartridge I believe it's 10 micron then it goes through the low pressure fuel filter here okay that's in the engine 
then it goes from there into the VST tank and then goes to a high pressure fuel filter. Plus in the VST tank, vapor separator tank, there's a screen. I don't plan on ever having any fuel issues and I really never have because of my system. So there you go, the Marpac Clearview fuel filter system for your boat, for the whole thing, kit and caboodle, the new head unit, everything. You're gonna have to swap over possibly your, your barb connections coming down for your hoses, but you can find it for about 75 bucks, somewhere in that range. Uh, the whole kit and caboodle ready to put on, take out what you got, put in uh, the Marpac. There's not a lot about the Marpac out there, um, but it's all available on eBay. It's through, through boating sellers, you know, boating parts sellers. I believe it's available possibly on Amazon. As a matter of fact, it is, because if you look at the the video description where I'm going to put the video about my first installation of the Marpac, you'll see my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. If you go to that page that's on Amazon, it's what keeps these reviews going. It helps fund in pennies my YouTube channel. I'm not trying to hide it. But if you go to my Amazon Tools of the Trade page and scroll down, you'll see the whole MarPAC system on my page. You click on it, it takes you straight to Amazon. It's an Amazon page. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. Give it a thumbs up. I don't care one way or another. I don't ever beg for these things. But if it helped you at all or enlightened you, do a thumbs up. Why not? It's the Chinese social credit score in today's world. Thanks for watching.